Christos Anesti. Christus vstal z mrtvých. Christ is risen. Aletos Anesti. Aletos Anesti. Skutočne vstal z mrtvých. He is risen indeed. Vzkriesenie Pána to je, môžeme povedať, srdcovina našej viery. The of Christ, we can say, is the heart of our faith. A je to uh, fundament uh, apoštolskej kerygmy. And the foundation of the apostolic kerygma. Apoštoli stále uh, ohlasovali Ježišovu smrť a jeho na tretí deň slavné vzkriesenie. The apostles steadfastly preached the death and glorious resurrection of Christ. Udalosť Ježišovho vzkriesenia je najdôležitejšia udalosť v histórii ľudstva. The event of Christ's resurrection is the most important event in the history of mankind. Život Pána našho Ježiša Krista nie je žiadnym mýtom, The life of our Lord Jesus Christ is no myth. Lebo osobnosť Ježiša Krista je historická a reálna. Because the person of Jesus Christ is historical and real. Vzkriesenie nášho Pána Ježiša je potvrdené mnohými faktami. The resurrection of our Lord is confirmed by many facts. E, viac ako akákoľvek iná udalosť v histórii ľudstva. More than any other event in human history. Jozef Flavius je autorom histórie židov, židovské starožitnosti. Joseph Flavius is the author of the history of Jews, Jewish antiques. On hovorí v svojej histórii, He says, že Pontius Pilát bol pod vplyvom veľkňaza židovského synedria. That Pontius Pilate was under the influence of the high priest of Sanhedrin. A tak Ježiša odsúdili na smrť. So they condemned Jesus to death ale on na tretí deň vstal z mŕtvych. But he rose on the third day. Tak svedčí Jozef Flavius. Joseph Flavius testifies to this. To všetko sa uskutočňovalo za predpovediami prorokov. This all happened in accordance with the Old Testament prophecies. Teraz pár svedec církevných otcov. Let's now mention some testimonies of the church fathers. Svetý Ignác Antiochísky. Saint Ignatius of Antioch. On bol učeníkom Jana Apoštola. He was a disciple of the Apostle John. Zomrel mučenickou smrťou v Kolezeu v Ríme. He died a martyr in the Colosseum in Rome. Jeho nazývali um, Theophoros. He was called Theophoros. Čo znamená, že nosil Boha v svojom živote. Which means bearer of God. Vydával svedectvo, vo mne žije Boh, vo mne žije Kristus. His life was a testimony of God living in him, of Christ living in him. A keď him. ho v koloze roztrhávali tie divoké zvery, and after being torn by the beasts in the Colosseum, to z neho zanechalo sa len srdce. All that was left was his heart. A na tom srdci bolo napísané meno Ježíš. The name of Jesus was written on this heart. A tento uh, učeník apoštolov This disciple of the apostles dal svedectvo, že Ježiš skutočne zomrel, bol pochovaný a na tretí deň vstal z mŕtvych. Štvrtý pápež v poradí svetý Kliment Rímsky. Saint Clement of Rome, the fourth pope tiež bol uh, učeníkom apoštolu. Was a disciple of the apostles too. On bol tým, aký zomrel vo vyhnanstve na Kryme. He died in exile in the Crimea. V Korsuni. In Carson. On tiež hovorí, že Ježiš skutočne vstal z mŕtvych, reálne aj historicky. He also says that Jesus rose historically and really. Svetý Polikarp biskup Smyrny. Saint Polycarp, bishop of Smyrna. Bol tiež učeníkom svätého apoštola Jana. Likewise was a disciple of the apostle John. Dáva také svedectvo. He testifies. Ten, kto vzkriesil nášho Pána Ježiša z mŕtvych. He who raised Christ from the dead. 
vzkriesiť aj nás. Will raise us too. Keď zomieral svetý Polikarp, when Saint Polikarp was dying, a on zomieral smrťou, že ho spalovali, by being burned, a hovoriť, aká je to veľká čest aj milosť Božia, he said, How great is the grace of God, brať účasť na mučenické smrti, which makes me worthy to die a martyr, piť z skalicha Pánovho, to drink the cup of the Lord, a tak stať z mŕtvych, and to be raised from death. A poštoli hovorili o reálnom telesnom vzkriesení Pána Ježiša. The apostles spoke about the real physical resurrection of Jesus. Svedectvom je e, skutky apoštolov. The acts of the apostles testify to this. Apoštol Lukáš, evangelista, hovorí, to je prvá kapitola, tretí verš. Saint Luke, apostle and evangelist, says in chapter 1, verse 3. E, Ježíš sa objavoval, alebo dával sa poznať v mnohých dôkazoch a svojim učeníkom. Jesus showed himself to his disciples že on je živý and proved that he was alive. a zjavoval sa im 40 dní a hovoril o Božom kráľovstve. He appeared to them during 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. A poštoli, aký stojí pred Sanhedrianom, the apostles standing before the Sanhedrian, svedčia veľerade. Bear witness to the high priests. My nemôžeme nehovoriť o tom, čo sme videli a čo sme počuli. We cannot stop telling about the things we have seen and heard. Keď čítame prvý list Jana, prvú kapitolu, In the first epistle of John, chapter 1, hneď v prvom verši je povedané, the very first verse reads, že to, čo bolo o, od vekov, what was from the beginning, to, čo sme počuli, what we have heard, na čo naše oči hľadeli, what we have seen with our eyes, čo sa naše ruky dotýkali, what we touched with our hands, my teraz vestujeme, this we proclaim, živé Božie slovo, the word of life. Svetý Peter, deň Turíc, on the day of Pentecost, sa obracia k Židom, aký prišli na sviatku. Saint Peter addressed the Jews who came to the feast takými slovami. With these words. Ježiša Boh vzkriesil, my sme toho svetkami. God raised Jesus from dead. We are witnesses to A potom, this. keď je Peter v, v chráme v Jeruzaleme, Later on in the temple of Jerusalem, vydáva také bezkompromisné svedectvo. Peter gives a brave testimony. A hovorí k Židom and says to the Jews, Vy ste sa zriekli spravedlivého a svetého. You deny the holy and righteous one. Zabili ste pôvodcu života. You killed the author of life. Akého Boh vzkriesil z mŕtvych? Whom God raised from the dead. Čoho my sme svetkami? We are witnesses to this. I svätý apoštol Pavol vydáva svedectvo Kristovej pásky. The apostle Paul likewise bears witness to Christ's Passover. E, prvý list ku Korintianom 15. kapitola. First epistle to the Corinthians chapter 15. Tretí, štvrtý verš. Verse 3 and 4. To, čo som ja obdržal, to ja vám odovzdávam. I delivered to you what I also received. Že Ježiš Kristus zomrel za naše hriechy podľa písma. That Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Bol pochovaný. Was buried. A na tretí deň bol vzkriesený podľa písma. And rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. A potom pokračuje a poštol takými slovami. And the apostle continues. Keby Ježiš Kristus nevstal z mŕtvych, If Christ has not been raised, to márna alebo zbytočná je naša kázeň, then our preaching is in vain. ale potom je aj márna vaša viera. And your faith is in vain. A potom pokračuje v 20. verši, And verse 20. ale Ježiš Kristus skutočne vstal z mŕtvych. Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. A on je prvotina všetkých zomrelých. He is the first fruits of those who have died. A má pravdu, boli by sme falošnými svetkami. The apostle is right. We would be false witnesses. Keby Ježiš nevstal z mŕtvych. If Christ has not been raised. Keď sa chronologicky pozeráme na udalosti vzkriesenia. In chronological terms. Vidíme, že vzkriesený Ježiš sa prvý objavuje Marii Magdalene. 
The reason Jesus first appears to Mary Magdalene. Potom ženám, aké prinosie do hrobu míru. Then to the myrrh bearing women at the tomb. Potom sa zjavuje prvému z učeníkov, svetému Petrovi. Then to Peter as the first of the apostles. Potom dvom emovským učeníkom. Then to the disciples of Emmaus. Potom desiatým učeníkom. Vedle. Then to the ten apostles in the upstairs room. Potom sa objavuje Tomášovi a ďalším desiatým učeníkom. Then to Thomas and other ten apostles. Potom siedmým učeníkom vedľa Genezereckého jazera. Then to seven disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. Jedenáctim učeníkom, keď im dáva veľký misijný príkaz. To the eleven apostles when he commissions them to preach. Viac ako 500 učeníkom v Galilei. To more than 500 disciples in Galilee. Svetému Jakubovi, staršiemu Zebedejovi. To James, the son of Zebedee. Potom všetkým učeníkom v deň svojho na nebu vstúpenia. And to all disciples on the day of his ascension. Nakoniec svetý apoštol Pavol hovorí, že to bola udalosť po na nebo vstúpení pána. Finally, the apostle Paul speaks about an event after the ascension. Nakoniec sa vzkriesený Ježiš zjavil mi. Last of all, the risen Jesus appeared also to me. A mi svedectvo, Ježiš skutočne žije. And he testifies, Jesus is really alive. Podobné svedectvo dáva prvý mučeník Svetý Štefán. A similar testimony is born by Saint Stephen, the first martyr. Potom aj apoštol Ján, keď bol na ostrove Patmos. And by the apostle John in the Isle of Patmos. Keď má to videnie Ježiša, ti príde súdiť živých i mŕtvych. Who saw Jesus, the judge of the living and the dead. Keby sme sa pozreli na tie udalosti pred vzkriesením. Looking at the events before the resurrection. A poštoli všetci prakticky sa rozutekali, nechali samotného Ježiša. Practically all the apostles fled and left Jesus alone. Lebo sa veľmi báli. They were afraid. A poštol Peter ho zradil. The apostle Peter denied him. Ježiš ukrižovaný Jesus was crucified and died. His body was taken down. And laid in a tomb cut out of rock. It was the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea. They rolled a large stone to the entrance. Taký kamen, že trebalo veľa ľudí, aby ho odvalili. Which could hardly be removed. Potom zapečatili hrob. And they put a seal on the stone. A postavili rímsku stráž. And set a guard. Boli to štyria mužovia. Four Roman soldiers. To sa všetko udialo v deň Veľkého piatku. That all took place on Good Friday. Ale Pán Ježiš povedal, že na tretí deň vstane vzmrtný. But Jesus said that he would rise again on the third day. A keď nastal prvý deň po subote. And on the first day after the Sabbath. Deň nedelný. Which is Sunday. Ženy, aké idú do hrobu, aby pomazali mŕtve telo Ježiša. The women bringing the spices to anoint the dead body of Jesus. Oni svetkami veľkého zázraku. Became witnesses of a great miracle. Rozpočína veľké zametrasenie. There was a great earthquake. Lebo aniel Boží schádza z nebo. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven. On odvaluje kameň od hrobu. He rolls away the stone. I ukazuje na prázdny hrob. And shows them an empty tomb. Obracia sa k ženám, aké držia v rukách tie drahocené oleje. He turns to the murderers. A hovorí im, prečo hľadáte živého medzi mŕtvými? And says, 
Why do you seek the living among the dead? Jeho tu nie, on vstal z mŕtvych. He is not here, he is risen. Ja si viem predstaviť, aký museli byť ohromení a stráž pri hrobe. I can imagine the soldiers struck with terror. Božie slovo e, hovorí, že oni boli ako mŕtvi. God's word says that they became like dead men. Videli aniela Božieho. They could see an angel of the Lord. Ale oni uvideli, že v hrobe nie je Ježišové telo. And an empty tomb. Oni dôkladne strážili hrob. They had been watching it carefully. Keď nie, traja odpočívali, jeden stále bol, bol v bdelosti. One of them was always on the alert, while the other three were asleep. Ježišové telo nemohli ukradnúť učeníci ani žiadne ľudia. The body of Jesus could not be stolen by the disciples or anyone else. Hrob Pane Ježiša je prázdny. Truly, the tomb of Jesus is empty. Lebo Ježiš je živý. For Jesus is alive. Hrob nemôže držať v sebe život. Life cannot be held in the grave. Ženy, aké boli ohromené tým, čo oni videli a počuli. The women astonished by what they have seen and heard. Hovoria apoštolom o tejto veľkej udalosti. Tell the apostles about this great event. Aniel nám povedal, že Ježiš nie je vrát. An angel said to us that Jesus was not in the tomb. My sme videli len plátna, a pohrebné plátna. We only saw burial clothes. My sme uvideli nedotknutý salón. And the shroud left untouched. Turinské plátno. The shroud of Turin. Ježiš cez to plátno prechádzal bez toho, aby ho porušil. Jesus passed through the shroud without unwrapping it. My sme uvideli aj ten plátok, aký mal na hlave. On bol skrutený, na inom mieste ležal. We saw the face cloth rolled up in a separate place. Apoštoli ne- neverili, že ženy. The apostles did not believe the women. Oni mali silné pochybnosti. They were full of doubts. Až pokiaľ Petro s Ivanom nebežili hrobu. But when Peter and John ran to the tomb. Na vlastné oči sa presvedčili, že hrob je prázdny. They could see with their own eyes that the tomb was empty. Videli len tie pohrebné plány. They only saw the linen clots. Ale Ježišov hrobu nebol. And Jesus was not there. Tí strážcovia chystali vedľa hrobu. The soldiers guarding the tomb. Nalakaní utiekli. Fled in fear. Naše vzkriesenie s Kristom sa uskutočňuje najskôr v duchovnej oblasti. Our resurrection with Christ is now spiritual. A potom pri konci sveta sa to prejaví tým, že staneme z mŕtvych aj telom. And at the end of the world our body will be raised too. A pôjdeme s oslaveným telom a so spasenou dušou do nebeského kráľovstva. And we shall enter the kingdom of heaven with a glorified body and a redeemed soul. Pamätáte sa na hladnotného syna? Can you remember the prodigal son? O ňom bolo povedané, bol mŕtvý a ožil. The Bible ožil. says he was dead and is alive again. To je povedané o každom z nás. This refers to every one of us. My všetci sme boli mŕtvi kvôli tomu, že sme hriešnikami. We all were dead because we are sinners. Ale my môžeme ožiť, keď dáme vieru tomu, aký je vzkriesenie. But we can be raised to life if we believe in him who is the resurrection. Sám o sebe povedal, že ja som vzkriesenie a život. Jesus said about himself, I am the resurrection and the a life. A potom pokračuje, kto verí vo mňa, aj keby zomrel, bude and žiť. And he continues, he who believes in me shall live even if he dies. Kto vzkriesil mŕtvého Lazara, a kto vzkriesil syna najímskej vdovy, alebo Jajorovu He who raised to life Lazarus, the widow's son at nine, or the daughter of Jairus, má silu vzkriesiť aj nás do života večného. Has the power to raise us also to everlasting life. Keď sa pozrieme na prázdny hrob, looking at the empty tomb, my sme svetkami toho, že Ježiš je živý. We are witnesses of Jesus being alive. Lebo Konfúcia nie je prázdny, sú tam kosti. The tomb of Confucius is not empty, his bones are there. Uh, Mohila Budhu nie je prázdna. The tomb of Buddha is not empty. 
The tomb of Gandhi is not empty either. Not even the tomb of Muhammad is empty. But the tomb of Jesus Christ is empty. For Jesus is risen indeed. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Christ is risen indeed.